The Canes are playing the Islanders. It starts tomorrow at 5 o'clock. You can hear it right here. Let's go. On 99.9 The Fan. Let's go. Storm watch ahead of it for a full hour. You can tune in at 4 o'clock for that, featuring Adam Gold. The Canes are playing the Islanders. And, and you know what? Nothing has changed since the Canes and Islanders originally learned that they were going to face each other in the first round earlier this week. I think it was Tuesday. Right. Once the 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 pair was made, once once the match was made, nothing has changed. And what I mean by that is, the matchup doesn't matter. I said this on Tuesday. I thought about it on Wednesday. We revisited it on Thursday. I'm all in on it on Friday. The matchup doesn't matter. The Canes swept them in the second round back in 2019. The Canes beat them last year in the first round. The Canes have all this history with them. It, it, they they are nameless and faceless opponents. The, the Canes have to simply play their best level of hockey and mow down whoever's in their path. You know what I really don't like that I saw quite a bit of in the NBA playoffs that are, that are also getting started? What's that? I felt like people were jockeying for matchups. Like, oh, we might lose this one because then we, we get to play the, the Knicks instead of Boston or whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, no. If the goal is to win a championship, you're going to have to beat good teams along the way. Mm-hmm. Go beat good teams. Right? Oh, the Islanders this. the I don't care if they're the matchup you wanted, the matchup you didn't want, the matchup you thought was, was a, a good schematic fit for the Canes, or the matchup you thought was a bad schematic fit for the Canes. They're going to have to beat good teams. They're going to have to beat whoever's there. Line them up, knock them down. Martin Natchez on the intensity of an opening round NHL playoff series. First couple of games are more like way more intense and, uh, you know, harder to play it's more you know physical and this kind of stuff but uh you know as you go uh you know as you play more games so everybody gets a little tired and then feel like you know maybe the first series one of the toughest ones because then uh you know obviously now everybody has a lot of energy and uh, everybody runs around so uh yeah you gotta be ready uh very excited this is what we've been you know waiting for basically all season and uh finally be here you're darn right it's what you've been waiting for your whole season the Canes have – It's this is it for the Canes. There are teams, heck, maybe even the Islanders, based on how their season started and they changed coaches and they made a little run, they might just be like, hey, happy to be here. Right? It's an accomplishment that we made the postseason. Not the Canes. Not the Canes even – five years ago, yeah, the Canes. Five years ago, six years ago, the Canes make the playoffs. All right, we're doing something, moving in the right direction. How awesome is this? This year's Canes, I mean, if anyone is out intensing you, if anyone is out out efforting you this postseason, red flags galore. I'd tell Rod Brindamore to put the pads on for a morning skate and go show them how it's done. Yeah, you just it, might do it. <laughs> if, if, if there's an out efforting, efforting there, nothing is off the table. Don't threaten him with a good time. <laughs> Can you imagine Walt Ruff report from the yeah, morning right. skate? There's a, there's a skater out there. I don't know quite who it is. Don't like the, Number 17 is not the Raptors anymore. Something <laughs> extremely familiar about the way he's moving out there. Oh, gosh, he just put him into the boards. <laughs> Uh, Don Waddell, the GM, on uh, what the real deal is about this postseason. Well, it's nice to have the consistency. You know, we talked about it years ago that, you know, everybody's always talking about making the playoffs, and we don't talk about that anymore. You know, the, the consistency, consistency's been great, but, you know, now we got to take that next step. You know, we've had, uh, I don't even remember how many playoff rounds we've had now in the six years, so we have plenty of experience under our belt, and, you know, now it's time to... Uh, make the best efforts to go uh, take that next step. It's about making the best efforts to take that next step. You know what the next step is. At minimum, winning the East. Last five years, right? Since that run in the 2018-19 season, which was magical. Starting the following season, it's been what? Second round, or first round, second round, a little bit further, a little bit further. They, They haven't taken a step back since then. To not take a step back from where they were last year, it's the Eastern Conference Finals. There's only you know one more series to go, and that's not to say like I don't want to. I I know the, the it might seem brash bravado, whatever. Right? Doesn't matter who the opponent is, go win. It's not about making the playoffs. It's about winning the whole thing. 
I'm not saying there won't be bumps along the road. I'm saying the Canes should be built to overcome them. I'm not saying, uh, you know, Matt Barzell or somebody's not going to make a play for the Islanders this, this this series. They will. Hobson, right? They, like, they're going to have some guys that are going to make plays. I just think the Canes should be uber confident in their ability to make more. The interesting part is, uh, right? I said nothing has changed since we talked about it on Tuesday. One thing has changed. Tuesday, we said, hey, if they're going to steal one, it's going to be Sorokin. Now, Dennis is sitting there telling me during the, mm-hmm. it might not be that guy. Might be Semyon Varlamov starting in net. Which is a bit of, of kill your darlings. And, and what I mean by that is, if you have a really good goalie that you are not starting because someone else is that hot, that shows you how hot that other goalie is. We talked about how great Freddie Anderson has been over his last 10 mm-hmm. games. Here's the last 10 games for Varlamov. 8-1-1, eight, one, and one, so the eight wins, one regulation loss, one shootout loss. A save percentage of 930 and a goals against of just under 2.1. That's since the beginning of March. It's darn near Freddie hot streak like. It's pretty darn close. It's darn near. So if, it, you know, it, it's actually, it was one of the, the questions I saw. Um, oh, I, it was a national media member, and they were doing the whole Twitter engagement thing where they ask a question, right? And it's a little provocative, uh, and and it's all right. Let's see what's going on here. And they said, like, all right, NHL fans out there, tell me how in the world did the Islanders win this series? Because you know they did the whole like. Because I look at it and I see the Canes have an advantage here, 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 and here. How did the Islanders win? And m- I'm like, hmm, this is interesting, right? Because then you, you're going to hear like the the pulse of. Islanders fans. So I'm like, all right, let me click on these, these, uh, you know, you, you put on like your helmet and, and pads to go deep into the under underworld of the internet. And, and I clicked on the responses and almost all of them were, well, go, you know, Russian goalie goes crazy, st- steals a couple of them. Uh, and that was like the gist of all of them. If he's not even the, the one getting the, the, the nod, that just shows you how well the other is playing. Mm-hmm. It's just the other Russian goaltender. Yeah, true. Actually, I should have been more clear there. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's why they were using that that, that verbiage. They're like, it doesn't matter who. But it's it's you know if if to use a different sport, right? If Clayton Kershaw is your third starter, that's not necessarily saying Clayton Kershaw is not a good shoot, uh, not a good pitcher. It's just saying you know Walker Bueller must be having a heck of a freaking season, or or he's just on fire and hasn't given a hit up in a couple of couple of starts. So that that's one thing that has changed from Tuesday. Just the the guy between the pipes. But guess what? Everything I said about, about the Coley still matters, right? That guy can still get hot and steal mm-hmm. one. He, you're still not going to get any freebies. You're still going to have to go in there and beat him. And that's still why you brought in Jake Gensel. And that's still why you're so excited about Seth Jarvis being a 30-plus goal scorer. And that's still why you brought in Kuzi. And that's still why you need Svetch to be Svetch. It, like, you shouldn't be asking for freebies at this point in time. You should be taking what's yours. There, are, there were stretches the, during the regular season where I was like, you know what, the Canes take any goal they can get. If the goalie falls over, if the goalie gets you know, uh, uh, the, the light in their eyes, whatever it takes, you accept that goal. This, go for some. Go, go, don't need freebies. Hmm? You shouldn't. That's why he brought in all those guys. Waddell and how integral Gunsel, or Gensel, excuse me, and Kuzi have been. I've always said winning breeds winning. You like uh, players that have won before. It doesn't matter what level they've won at. Uh, it's nothing like being a champion uh, for whatever you're playing for. And, you know, when you looked at the, play, at the trade deadline with Gensel and uh, Kuznetsov, both guys have good track records. You know, we were looking, and I've said this before, we've been look, we were looking to add to our team. We just weren't looking at bodies. We were looking at potential impact players that have had success in the playoffs, and both these guys have had that. It's going to be fun. We're going to talk about it a lot leading up to uh, the game tomorrow at 5, right here on 99.9. The fan, the Canes. Let's go. I mean, this is – we circled the, – the, not this day because we didn't know what day it was going to be. We circled this game this idea, this this series for a long time. Hope we hear it a lot. Seven times tomorrow. I want to hear it seven, seven. times tomorrow. <laughs> this is the, this is where we just start getting carried away by the end for like uh, make our picks. We're going yeah. like Gensel hat trick. 
Aho hat trick. Jarvis has two. <laughs> Both of them <laughs> shorthanded. Yeah, they're, exactly. There's and Freddie gets two assists. Let's go. Slavin has to score one. Shea gets one. What are we up to? Eleven goals. <laughs> Running out of the first hey, we period. Can get Let's away. go. We can get carried. We don't have to stay locked in. We can. We can look ahead.